Okay, we're here and I got something, my uh, order from Crafter's Companion on the last day of their 18th birthday uh, shindig. <laughs> um, so I've got my order. So, uh, well, if you want to drink, this is our just, you know, space, so, you know. Um, this was on the back of the packaging of one of the uh, things I got in uh, box three. Um, Inspiration Magazine. Uh, you can see that video in the maybe game card. I'm not sure. But uh, this was the packaging in it. And I thought since it had, you know, part of the card and paper kind of design on the back, I thought I'd keep it for a future card or something. I figured these were, uh, you know, just clear, smooth, white card. Um, you know, packaging. So I thought I could use that too. Waste not want not, as they say. So that was just really random. Anyway, hey, I've got things. But uh, most people did not uh, carry it very nicely because it's got a. Luckily, it's a bubble wrap and it was inside, and the bubble wrap itself has not fit. But the actual, you know, envelope is in a bit of a mess. So, and I normally like keeping envelopes, just in case, you know, I can really, you know, send them later. But it's, it's a big envelope. <laughs> so, um, oh, and if you're wondering, this is just a clear jar from, you know, it was an out of date thing that I took home from the food bank because I wanted the jar. And since the food bank, for some reason, does not have a food recycling, you know, food waste bin, for some odd reason, sometimes you know, some of the volunteers get a bit, fill up a bag of out of date stuff and take home to put in their food bin, you know. It's scary. I don't know anywhere else can Anyway, I wanted this jar for... I can't remember. <laughs> so, um... myself why. I mean, I guess if you want to re-label it, it's something different. You've got a clear label. But that just makes no sense. This is fuel here. Okay. And it's just a clear white label. I mean, I guess you could put something over top of it. But it does feel like the backing of, you know, you know, like kind of smooth. So I don't know if Stickers would actually stick to that or not. Anyway, I thought I'd, I don't know. I can't remember why I wanted it. Maybe embossing powder, maybe. I don't feel like embossing powder. <laughs> but then, I have no clue. But I got the. It should be dry by now. I got the. Uh, I salvaged the jar from being thrown out because I wanted it. So, yeah. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. Okay, so, ooh, there's lots of stuff in here. I just move the camera over a tiny bit. Look at that, lots of stuff. Okay, just move it back. So let's see, let's put my hand in and, ah, uh, set of 10 blending in the walls. Okay. This. So I didn't open it yet, so I wanted to, you know, have all these habits on color. Though, unfortunately, unlike on Amazon, these do not come with little mini capsules to store them in. But on the Craigslist YouTube, for he does, it's one of the presenters slash crafters on Crafters Companion. TV thing. Uh, he actually put the uh, Velcro or the, you know, hook and loop on the bottom of his ink pads and put one of the blending brushes on the bottom. So, like, that is a good idea. It's only if. Uh, well, I guess they would dry quick enough. Well, quick dry ones, not really convenient ones. But, like, if you waited for them to dry, just stick them underneath the uh, ring pads and you don't have to find 
getting bad because it'll be right there. Blending bad. Blending. Blending thing. We wouldn't have to find one because it's right there. I mean, that's, that's a good idea. So these ones were, yeah. Uh, that, that's not what I was trying to. Not what I was trying to. Uh, <laughs> You dig out, there, and there. So I got 30, technically 32, 34 of uh, running brushing. Uh, what's the word? Blending tool refills. Wow. Okay, those. It was a um, three for two sink. I could not resist. And this one was part of the three for two as well. That this is in a separate part of the tube, but this is the Spectrum Noir section. So I'm just put that there for a sec. That's not gonna hold it. And then ooh. Uh -huh. I do have my order switch. I'm getting distracted. Okay, so um, I read so much that I have to put it on two labels. Hmm? Two labels. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So I don't know if this is before or after the sale. Uh, this is these prices are before the sale prices and before any uh, club inspiration discount. So the three ninety nine each, and that's that would have totaled eleven ninety seven. But I only paid for two. I can't do mental math, so don't even ask. And um, this one is also. Okay, next up we have a three. Yes, three. The another crystal pen. This one is in pink. I was hoping for a different one. I actually don't like pink, but it goes well with. The Crafters TV purple one. Oh, oh so well, technically, I'm just gonna put like, put my pen in the basement part of that. But, yeah, I got my own. Next up, we have from the we gotta read it out. The mermaid uh, collection shimmer spray called All of the Sea. I just want to say, technically, I, I was, I put in the glitter glue, right? But, I had to, I have no idea. The cart was being weird, and it wouldn't, you know, take away things, and I added an extra one by accident, so I took it away, but then when I refreshed, then it suddenly was still there, and I did it again, and when I refreshed, it wasn't, it wasn't there at all. So when I put it in, because like it's basically the same colorish. So I did afterwards. I did realize why when I worked it out, the end price was much a tiny bit more than I planned. Okay, so where was I? Let's change my card. Anyway, so this is not focusing. The Call of the Sea Shimmer Spray. 
I'm going to get the ink water glue in the next order because I've got, as you saw from a previous haul video, I got most of the, uh, the glitter glue collection. I want to, you know, finish off the collection. Also, I might want to use it, you know? So, like, this is pretty. I've never actually used the shimmer spray before, so you should be interested in very messy. So, I took my camera off. We'll put that there for now, out of the way, so just in case, you know, so it doesn't get the smush behind. into a stamp or something. Thanks for that. Okay. And this was part of the second roll of three for two. These are little mini misters, because as you probably see, but <laughs> I have a huge one, but not a tiny misty misty one. So I wanted to get a proper level now. But it was the last day, and yeah, it was the last day. <laughs> so that's that one. Celebrate with stuff. I mean, it's okay. But, I mean, uh, well, I guess you could use celebrate, and I do have other stamps, which I can put at the with you. Or, celebrate with you, celebrate. You know. So anyway, that's not it. Then I also got this. I do love 3D embossing filters. This one is really popped in the Dancing Dragonfly collection. It is a 6x4 inches. 3D embossing. I can't wait to use it. I'm not sure what to do with it, but I do love I love the 3D effect, you know, so, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and this was a, uh, oh, you know what she said, let's see, um, this was no, it wasn't on sale. And this one was just $4.99. If, if that was not a foodie, that would have been $3.99. The funky food is $1.99 for six pieces. The shimmer spray is $5.99. Whereas the glue glue I think is $2.99. Which will be in the next week. And the just stamp and die fancy sentiment celebrate with style, which was the freebie, which would have been $6.99. And the um, uh, Fine Spray Mystery is 
4.99, or it was, because I was at two for three for two, so I probably wonder which one is, was the, the cheaper one, because I think this, the cheapest is the free one. And then, let's see. Yes, and these two dies are ooh, it's the multimedia dies. And it is a buy one get one free. I think it was. So they both cost five pounds. One of them was free. So first one we have is the creates a level piece puzzle and it is in the shape of a jigsaw puzzle. So I thought that was cool. And the next one it is, takes creates a 10 piece puzzle and it's in the shape of a heart. And it's multimedia, so I can even do it on something like a computer. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Perfect for transforming photos or artwork into jigsaw puzzles. Four multimedia dies can be used with corkboard, meltboard, craft metal, fur leather, fabric, and much more. I might as well read the first part of it. Create you and personalized keeps it cards you can get using or fabulous shaped jigsaw dies. First part of the transforming photos. I read that one. Anyway, yes. So, I don't actually have any multimedia dies, which is nice. So, that's these two. And then. Spectrum a lot. It is part of the three for two, apart from those two. And this one is pure white, which I don't have a white. So I wanted this just in case I wanted to, you know, white up some snowflakes or something like that. Like for an uh, embossing bowl and, you know, stuff like that. So that's that. Let's put it over here. You can see it then. Next. Oh, great. Um, that is... $5.99. So most likely the blending tool, which was $3.99, would be free. And I paid $5.99 and be $4.99. I think that's how it works on right now. Okay, so the next two... Three... Do it in pads. They're five ninety nine each. No sale. Okay. Okay. So because it was part of the mermaid collection, I thought you know what? Because it is you know exclusive to the mermaid collection, and it's you know, exclusive ish. Uh, I guess yeah. So this is the do it in pad sea glass. So that's this one. The next one I got were the two ones that did not, for some reason, appear in the Do It In Pad set uh, selection that I bought um, during the Crafters Companion four year anniversary thing, I think. So it, it was Vintage Moro. For some reason, one of the main colors, which was lemon red. And having an entire thing without a yellow was kind of inconvenient. So, when I saw that this was in stock, I think they sold out, that's why. When I saw it was in stock, then I couldn't resist. Now, for some reason, it looks a bit iffy. Hang on, let me check. Because if the. If there's a hole in the cover, I need to make sure there isn't a hole in the cover. 
No, there's not. There's some... something. Wait. Is that supposed to be like that? I don't think so. Can kind it of focus? Right. See, there's some... thing. I don't know, some of the... the pad it's on? Kind of... I'll take a picture of it and send it to them and ask them if it's supposed to look like that. Because I don't think it is. Let's, let's open this and have a look. I do love the sound of the perforated edges. Let's see if I can get it. Is it not on this one? Sure, it should have on this one. I just love that sound. Some odd reason. Okay. And just cash on the left. Yeah, it's, you know, that's it. Okay. Well, there's some oh, strange coming up on that bit. You know what? Let me get my other pad out and have a look. Probably. Let's look at this one. Cause like I get they probably wouldn't all be perfect, but come on. Doesn't want to open, that's for sure. should have this coming away from the hat. So I'll just mess with the mask and it's supposed to look like that. Hopefully it's not because it looks good for him. Those ones just like you know normal looking like this. You know but kind of this curve and kind of like it so it's not really uncomfortable. Yeah, but I don't think it's supposed to come away. I've got a better system in that. I haven't sold them yet. <laughs> but anyway, there was one last thing that I got. Bothered about the stuff inside, and I didn't really want the pink one. 
or the purple one. I wanted the black one. Craft and carry relaxation. Go from color to green. Then bring blend. Bring clarity to your clutter. From made by Totally Green. As it shows on the picture. So you can hold stuff. So it's got the uh, three clear pockets for holding dies, small embellishments, and stamps. You can hold your poke tools in there so you don't want to poke yourself, that's for sure. And you can put your scissors or markers and rulers. Like on the sides. You can fit 12 by 12 back. The 12 by 12 back pocket holds full size sheets of paper for large scraps. You got four adjustable front compartments for smaller supplies. Uh, everything's visible, easy to use, easy to pull out, and easy to put back when you're working. While you're working. A large pocket on the back for a small paper trimmer. You can. Ideal for working at home or at a crafting event. Fold flat for easy storage. This is flat. Um, when, especially when traveling or to a crafting event. Most available in turquoise, pink, and purple. They had a deal for the ones in these two colors, but I didn't put the deal I wanted. Mm. So. Cut it up and just lay it right out. You can sort of see everything I got right now, right? Sort of, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go down it. Down it. And so you can see that. See that? And so... See everything. That's it. Holy jump. So, yeah, that's everything. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to get at least some semblance of organization around here. So I can maybe, because it shows right here, I can maybe fit my small guillotine in there. I can fit my spell binders, cotton die-cutting plates in the, in the back. I can probably fit my quick trimmer bits and, and my 
So putting that in this in the back pocket. Um, small stuff like my montage that I just like in the front. And then two friends right here. Yeah, I don't think I'm really wrong. I'm pretty sure mine has names in it. And I love his drawers, just now you can see how many. star for me thing. Has some wooden dowels. Technically these are skewers for chicken. And I got some some of my uh, EVA craft glue over there and stuff going in here. So I don't know if it would really work properly. But I got my little bow station here. And it's a very crude box and I put together with some like other cardboard I had around. So it doesn't move so much. But this is pretty simple. So I thought, you know, just a random crappy thing. <laughs> just a spur of the moment for really. But anyway, the list is besides so it's still the really to do with this. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out these guys. I'm going to game pads because I'm waiting for these ink refills so I can, you know, not have to wash them. <laughs> yes, oh, I colored it completely, didn't I? Mm. can see everything. Should be better. Okay. So yes. So that, that's my little last day haul for the YouTube first day. Motion day celebration. That's the word I was looking for. Um so yeah. I kind of wish I kind of checked out before the last day because I had a very nice butterfly window kind of die cut. Die, not die cut, but you know, metal die thing. Which would have been really nice to do. <laughs> um, oh, that's it. Don't mind the camera noises. Um, yes, so look forward to some crafty videos in the future. I remember to actually record. I think I will. At least putting together a card or some bits of it. And because I don't have a, you know, bird's eye view, uh, you know, tripod thing, which it is on my list to get in the future. I don't have one. I've got a light thing, but I don't have one because it was supposed to be part of the light thing, but that didn't fit my a phone. The phone is too big and also too heavy. Hopefully, a new one, which I have my eye on, will be just right here as I clamp onto my desk. And I think I want to know. Thank you for watching, Alex. Like, Rushmore. Thank you for watching, Alex. Over. Oh,